What's up guys, it's Nick. Uh, I just wanted to do another little review video today and a little stick stringing video today and uh, this is what I came up with. Um, I got some stuff sent in to, uh, today that I bought uh, from Jimalax. Um, they've developed a new mesh that I think a lot of you guys who are diehard uh, Jimalax uh, hard mesh enthusiasts, uh, I think that you guys are really going to like this type of stuff, especially if you guys like uh, design type mesh. Um, so here he is. Um, I got a few, uh, these are the pieces that I ordered, and I'll just talk a little bit about them uh, in a second. I think you're probably wondering, you're probably going to guess that uh, are these things uh, wax mesh. Uh, it's not a wax mesh uh, based product. Um, basically what Jimalax is doing now, uh, they have a patent pending um, formula, what they do, and what it is, is I'll explain it as uh, easily as I can on this stick. I restrung the blade. I'll talk about that in a second, too. But what they did is it's not dye. It's um, not wax. Um, it's just their regular mesh. What they did is they took about 30% of the weight uh, reduction off of the old mesh that you see on um, the shelf, that any ordinary hard mesh uh, piece that you know is hard to stretch, all that other type of stuff. Um, so this stuff is almost more like shrinking, um, but just with a lot more flavor and a lot more color options uh, that you can order. Um, if someone was to do type to try to do this with um, with dye or ink or you know whatever type of process they use, um, it would take them some time. Um, but what what separates Jimalax's for, uh, formula on money mesh uh, as opposed to Throne mesh, East Coast mesh, even my own stuff, DMG mesh, um, is that it's engineered so that the colors actually intertwine with. Uh, it, it's all manufactured. It's like I, it's so hard for me to kind of just say it, but um, what they did is they put it into a computer uh, and they run big spools, big long spools of this stuff, so that they actually can say where they want the color to go. Now, normally, um, if you'd see this on a regular piece of mesh, you'd probably say, oh, this is dyed this color, uh, the outsides are dyed uh, black, and you got a little bit of silver in here, which is, this is actually called Sublime, their own uh, Jimalax. This is Jimalax's signature piece that they call. Uh, it's called Sublime. Um, but what they do is they, they actually invert it so that they can point out where they want it to end. Um, if they want to do, like, striping, uh, like on this piece, which is called Diablo, um, they actually uh, invert it so it's like red to black, back to uh, white a little bit for one diamond row, back to black, back to two diamond rows, and then you know vice versa. So you get two like stripes going down. Now this stuff can be achieved using wax mesh. So I don't want to leave you guys out and say, oh well, geez, you know, I mean, I know you guys got some creative ideas. I do some creative stuff. I know a lot of other people do. So uh, I'm not going to knock the creative side of people that they say and that they can't do stuff like this. But to make a mesh that already has uh, the properties of uh, this type of stuff in it um, is something that it, it just can't be done unless you own a mesh company, which I know a lot of you kids don't. So um, I see a lot of who, who's going to buy this stuff. I say uh, probably a lot of younger players going up to the teens, uh, probably going to end around high school, and it's probably going to get into a lot of the club teams. And uh, I've actually seen a few photos of some professional players using it. Um, it's r fairly relatively new. I've spoken on the phone uh, today with, uh, with uh, Jim and uh, with Alex a couple days ago, and I told them, um, I gave them some feedback about six months ago on what I would change as far as if they had to make a change, and, you know, they, they did. They, uh, they worked six months to a year and uh, developing this stuff, and uh, they told me it was just such a big process to do. Uh, even this stuff, uh, you know, it comes so long. Look how look look how much slack I have left. Um, and I only, this is what I came up with. It actually came out to a cool pocket. Uh, you got a big landing strip of green in the middle. Uh, you got these little striker shooters. I didn't really do anything crazy with triangle top strings and stuff, but it comes out to a decent pocket. You know, you don't really have to bang it in too hard like the other stuff, and you know, get a bad pocket. Um, it looks really nice. You know. Um, I like it. I mean, I think it's I think it's a winner. I was throwing with it just for a little bit uh, on my net, and for the first time, I actually missed uh, the net because uh, I wasn't so used to having something with uh, hard mesh in my pocket. Uh, I'm all, I'm used to using my own wax mesh. So, um, but the guys at Jimalax have been so nice to me, and I'm just trying to return the favor and do a nice, honest review of their stuff. Um, so, um, 
other things that I can point out, um, if you want a piece of white, uh, it's going to run you 12 bucks. Uh, I paid 15 each for these, um, so that's the price you're going to pay for um, you know some of these ones. There's all kinds of designs they got up. They got some American flag designs. They got some uh, really cool, um, just cool designs. So if you check out jimalax.com, click on Money Mesh, you'll see it. Um, there's a huge, huge uh, you know description on what they do. Um, they invented some new tags. Uh, a lot of it's it's a re really big bag for a one piece of mesh, so you can actually put a string kit inside here. It's got you know, it t tells you all the different stuff on the back about it. Um, when you take it out of the bag, it actually does smell like money, uh, or actually like real money. Um, so maybe that's where the name came from. Um, but it's fit into that category also. So there's some drawbacks. There is some. There is some good features. The good features is that you can buy a piece of mesh for an affordable price for fifteen, twelve to fifteen dollars. Uh, get the weight savings. Uh, easier to break in if you're a like hard mesh. This is definitely your stuff if you want some. You know, custom mesh for your you know club team, or if you look, or if they have something that's already up and you see it and you want to throw it in your stick to match the shaft, grab it. Um, the, if you like, if you want to, if you're used to hard mesh, you want to buy a piece of hard mesh. They don't have any goalie right now, just player, but they'll definitely have some goalie out coming out soon. Only because it has to be done in big production runs in order for the stuff to be made. It doesn't get made piece by piece. It's made in big rolls. Um, so, but um, some of the drawbacks I'd have to say is. Um, you couldn't wax over this, so you couldn't buy this in white as raw mesh and, you know, do your own thing with it. Um, this stuff is just engineered to its own, so it has its own, you know, kind of crispy feel to it. Um, you know, you let kind of sandpapery feel. Um, so you're going to have to get used to that, but after a while, it really doesn't, I mean, who's going to bother? Who's going to care, you know? Um, but uh, I think it's good stuff. I mean, I think it's going to, I think it's going to go far. And this review... Honestly, I think a lot of more people that buy it are going to know for themselves that uh, this stuff is pretty good. Um, it's uh, They've come a long way. You know, honestly, they have um, this galaxy mesh is cool. It goes from a purple to blue to like a black, back to all the different colors going across, um, top to bottom, left to right. The stuff comes in a huge bag. Uh, like I said, the Diablo is a really nice color uh, colorway uh, for people that like black and red in their sticks. Um, so... Um, but this is their signature piece, the Sublime, they call it. Um, anyone that's like a New York Lizard fan um, or uses this in their club team uh, can do this. Um, I can try to mimic it in DMG Mesh if you like, um, but, uh, you know, who knows. Um, so this is a product uh, of its own. Uh, it's nothing like Throne Mesh. It doesn't have wax on it. It's got its own little uh, light coating on it, so it's pretty decently easy to break in. Um, if you use thrown, if you use hard mesh or semi-hard mesh in your pockets, and um, you're looking for a little swag, you're looking for a little flavor, pick up some of this stuff. Try it out. Um, guarantee you like it. Um, I definitely do. Wouldn't have put it in my blade if I didn't. Um, so um, just want to end the video with uh, saying that, uh, like I said again, the stuff is engineered um, so that it's not dye on this piece at all it's all its own colored knit um, which is 30 percent lighter than the original stuff that's on the market as far as just regular hard mesh um, you can see that the black fibers interlace with the gray ones gray ones interlace with the white ones then it goes back to neon green vice versa um, if you guys have an idea for Jimalax to come out with a different uh, maybe pattern or like a different way to do it, um, different style, hit them up, sales at jimalax.com, and uh, either Alex or Jim will definitely take your idea into perspective, and who knows, maybe your design will be up and running, because um, I know they have about five or six done already, um, so who knows, sky's the limit on this stuff. So yeah, uh, just going to end this video quick, because I have to quickly, I got to get downstairs and make some more mesh, and take care of some other stuff, um, but um my review on Money Mesh uh, definitely has to be up in the A to A minus range, uh, mm, probably like uh, that range. Uh, only because I, I I guess if it was available in white uh, that you could maybe wax over. Since I'm a wax mesh type of guy, uh, I don't really use a lot of hard mesh to be to begin with. But you know that's just to each his own. So my opinion might not matter as much to some of the other guys out there. Um, but I could see a kid, you know. Uh, that's nine or ten years old. That's for a little bit 
uh, starting in lacrosse or intermediate level or you know some club teams or something like that whoever likes this type of stuff that you know picks it up and runs with it and uh, I think they'd really like it to have in their stick I'm sure they'd be you know pretty surprised and for 15 bucks I don't think you can get really go wrong um, I could see this stuff being sold for 20 25 bucks um, it totally blows drinking out of the water in my perspective it does come in white um, I did compare both of this to, to strinking I have a piece of strinking mesh in the corner on the Evo 4 um, but um, yeah, no, this stuff is a lot easier to maintain, a lot easier to break in. It's got a longer tail to it. You just have to cut it off, uh, deal with that. That's not a problem, but um, it comes extra long, so if you want to do anything with it, you can do, you can kind of do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you have any more questions, just leave some comments below. I have some more information written down that uh, I'm probably not going to just include in the video, but I'd like to, but um, I don't want to have the video end on me. But and I don't want to keep talking too much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the blade one more time with the Strung Up New Money Mesh by Jimilax. I've uh, got a really nice channel on it. And as you can see, all the colors intertwine with each other. So it's manufactured and made uh, to this type of standard um, trademarked process so that uh, Jimilax will probably be the only ones doing this type of stuff. Um, doesn't look like any other companies are going to be able to because their trademark is already in process to be like a registered trademark so uh, yeah but uh, like I said if uh, anybody else is curious about these designs in DMG mesh um, they can be made uh, of course they're gonna, probably going to cost a little bit more because um, it's wax mesh and I have to do it all by hand but um, yeah so that's it uh, if you guys have any more questions for me let me know uh, dmg180 at gmail.com or if you want to just email directly uh, to uh, Jimilax you can do that sales at jimilax.com and uh, that's pretty much it. So, all right, guys, take it easy, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Peace.